Hello guys, Novo here. So today I'm going to show you the basic principles on how to animate in Blender 2.8. Now in this tutorial, we'll cover the basics like adding keyframes, manipulating them, an explanation about Euler angles, gimbal lock, quaternion, and I'll show you a demo of how I create a character animation. So without further ado, let's get started. So as you can see here, I've opened my blender and what you want to do is go ahead to the animation tab and boom, here is all the essential tools in blender to do animation. Okay, so for starters, let me explain what this windows or dockers of tools does. So first of all, it's the most noticeable window which is your 3D viewport. Now Blender here divides it into two viewports. One is with attributes such you can see the armature of your model, the lights, the camera, and it's just literally like the original viewport. On the other hand, the second viewport hides all those properties so you can focus on how your final animation will look like without disturbing with all additional features or information. Now below of it is the drop sheet and the timeline dockers. So let's start with the timeline first. Timeline is an editor to do something like play your animation, stop it, jump to the next or previous keyframe, and jump to the end or start frames. Drop sheet on the other hand is a kind of more detailed version of the timeline, in which you can see your keyframes of your animation and also scroll through frames just like the timeline does. Okay, now let's talk about Euler angles, gimbal lock, and quaternion. Euler angles are simply what you have familiar with the rotation in 3D, such as rotating in Z-axis, Y-axis, and also X-axis. And the value it uses is also relatively familiar because it calculates in degree. So as you can see, the Euler angles axis is attached one to another. Like in this case, the X-axis parented to Y-axis, and Y-axis is parented to Z-axis. While Euler angles can be used to rotate our object in most cases, in some cases it can cause a problem called the gimbal lock. A gimbal lock is a situation when two or more axes are parallel one to another. This causes a loss of control in rotating the object, so in this demo you lose the control to rotate in the x-axis. In this situation, it can cause your animation to look weird in some cases like you can see in this demo. Okay, now how you can solve this kind of problem? You can use what is called the quaternion rotation. Now, quaternion adds the fourth axis to our rotation system and it's commonly called the W axis. I can't really say a lot about quaternion because it is quite a complex version of rotation which involves a math calculation. <laughs> but because of the fourth axis, quaternion lets you rotate your object more naturally like you would expect without causing a gimbal lock. But since quaternion doesn't use the crease in normal way, you should be aware that for example if you want to rotate in 360 degree, it will cause uh, it will not rotate like you will expect. So you need to add such a middle keyframe to stab the rotation. Alright, so the way you add a new keyframe in Blender is quite simple. Once you select your object, press I on your keyboard and select which transform you want to set a keyframe. Or you can enable the automatic keyframes on your timeline. This way, whenever you create a changes to your object transform, a new keyframe will be added automatically. You can also set the active keying set to whatever it transform you want. Now since we got our basics, let's animate a character. So first you need to change the mode to pose mode in order to animate your amateur. Then basically you apply the basic principles that I have mentioned before to animate your character. Now animating can be really hard to begin, especially if you have no prior background on animation before. So what you can do for practice is to find a reference, set it as a reference object in Blender and try to map your reference. 
The reference can be an animation you see from movies, games, or maybe you can record yourself doing some actions. And it's not necessary to precisely map the reference, you can freely modify it to your heart content. Okay now, in this demo, the techniques and the processes will be the same as the basics I have mentioned before. So I will leave you with the time lapse and come back when it's finished. Enjoy! Alright, so this is the final result. Hey! 
Now, if you are interested to see how I model this character, the link will be in the description and somewhere on top of this video. And as always, give this video a like if you like, subscribe for more content like this, and I will see you next time. Bye!